What's going on guys? So, I don't know, I've been really debating about this next thing I'm gonna do really quick. Let, let me show you. With, with the front of these years, and you kind of know how I'm doing like a, like a little bit of a chrome delete kind of, you know, theme or whatever. But these right here, these little chrome inserts, I'm not sure what I wanted to do with them. I've been thinking for a long time if I either wanted to color match them to, with the truck, but would that be kind of weird having that like weird white in there? Not really too sure, but I've actually seen people too that'll black these out. So it makes this right here pop out. Uh, let me know what you think about that. I'm not really too sure. I really think I want to go ahead and kind of make them the same kind of mattish color like this to kind of just let them blend in and then have this pop out. So I'm going to try that today. I'm going to show you what I've been, I'm going to use. So it's actually reversible just in case I want to make them white and try it out. All right. So I, I came in here and I bought some of this like matte black, like peel coat stuff. And I'm trying to just go ahead and match the uh, uh, plastic on the grill itself. But I bought this one just because it's peelable. So in case I want to reverse it, I could always just take it off and then go with like maybe this color white like I've done before. But I mean, this is kind of just a simple project. I kind of wanted to try it out, see how it looks. Uh, I don't think it's going to take too long. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long to dry. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot and see how I like it and uh, let you know. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get this grill popped off here. Um, before we start so I can take this inside and uh, start popping these things out. I'll show you how to take these little pieces out right here. It's not that bad. I actually took it off beforehand and figured it out because I couldn't find any videos on it. I figured they were just simple clips. So I'll show you when I get to that. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and take this off real quick. All right, so yeah, now that we got the grill in the garage, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and pop these little guys out right here, the little chrome inserts. And then I can actually flip it over to give you like a general idea of what it would look like when I take these out. Cause you won't have that chrome, it'll just be like that plain black. So it might look good, I don't know. We'll see. Um, we won't know until we try it out. And that's why I got that peelable stuff right there. So in case I don't like it, I can just whoop, take it right off. So let me show you how to take these clips out. All right, now that you got your grill flipped over, you see these little like tabs right here? Like that right there all the way down. So that's for the bottom of one. And then up here, I'm not gonna lie, these right here are the hardest to get out. They always wanna come back down. So basically all I do is just get a little screwdriver here, a little flathead, and you just take it, you just pry that out for all of them. And then up here, the same thing. This were kind of hard to get to. You just gotta like kind of work your flathead in there and you just pop it out. Like I said, it's honestly a little hard because these up here, don't want to come out as easily as the bottom. But yeah, so you basically just do that. So these little tabs up here, they go all the way down. You just pop those guys out. Same for down here, pop those out. And then you'll have a chrome slit come out. So you just do that all the way up. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these out. And it's, it's a little lengthy of a process, so it will take you a minute, but uh, it looks pretty cool whenever they're out. All right, now once you get those popped out as best as you can, all I do is I take mine, I just push it down like that. It starts to come out. Sometimes a little hard because they don't want to come up all the way like I was saying earlier. But I went ahead and popped all these out, which is the best I thought I could. It's really tedious, honestly. Yeah, see, those are ready. Those are coming right out. But for the middle one, I noticed whenever you get out to the front here, you're probably going to have to get like a pry tool or something like that. For some reason, this side don't want to pop out that much. And I just noticed too... Yeah, this, this thing right here is gonna have to come off because I can barely reach that. And there's even a one up under, under there right there. So yeah, I'm not gonna be able to reach that at all. So I just counted, there's 11, I'm assuming that's a seven mil, 11 of these bolts around here. So there's like three up here, there's two on the side and then there's four on the bottom. So this is gonna have to come off. So we're gonna be able to take this off real quick. This is kind of, oh. Lift someone up, should have done that the first time. So do that the first time, it'll be easier. All right guys, just got done taking out these little chrome inserts right here. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to clean these and prep them. But um, yeah, so we're gonna clean them up. But I went ahead and put the grill back on here cause I wanted to kind of get a view of what it would look like. And of course it's <laughs> not the most pleasable right now, but it'll kind of look like that. So with everything back on, it'll really isolate the GMC and just kind of make this pop, which is kind of what I'm wanting. I'm wanting the color to pop and have that chrome 
to kind of like uh i guess separate the blackish in there and the reason i didn't go like a like a gloss black is because i don't have any really black on my truck besides that but i'm just blending in the windows so i didn't want to make it where it's i'm trying to match that with something i wanted to make it like that like this kind of like black i guess like a matte black or whatever like that plastic look and then hopefully it'll look pretty good and decent when everything's tied back in what do you think do you think that this looks good or you like how there's chrome inserts obviously there's more chrome to this truck but see what i'm saying all right, so we just got done cleaning up the uh, pieces here with some all-purpose cleaner. Nothing too serious, just a little wipe down to get all the bug guts off. I am gonna hit it with some lacquer thinner though, just to make sure I get all my like fingerprints and any oils from my fingers off of there. But I cleaned them up pretty good. This thing says do about four even coats. So that's what we're gonna try to do. It takes about five minutes in between. Probably wait like eight, just to give it a good little dry time. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, probably gonna tape off the clips because I don't want those to be too thick when I put them back on and they not secure as well, so. All right guys, just got done taping everything off. Um, all the little pieces that clip on. This way they're not too heavily coated and too thick to clamp back in later. But it looks like this. So, just did all those, all the clips on everybody. So, everything's all good. Got it looking all ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get these guys with some lacquer thinner to get all this remaining stuff off here from that um, all-purpose cleaner go and put them down there and then uh, we'll start our coats all right we just got done putting this lacquer thinner on it so that's all done they're ready to go down here and I also got the can out here heating up a little bit before I go ahead and spray it so we just gonna wait a minute for that but yeah so we're ready to go and uh, yeah so let's get to painting Alright guys, just got done as you saw, finishing out this whole can on these pieces here. And I think they came out pretty good. I'm excited to put these on there. I think they'll really blend in with the plastic trim. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is and just put this grill back on here. Because these just slip on in. So I want to go ahead and use this daylight because my truck's outside. So I'll put this grill back in. We'll go ahead and do everything after that. Alright guys, I think it's go ahead and time to put these old pieces back in the grill that she's all put back together, just minus these. Um, so I might go ahead and just start taking the tape off here and then inserting them back in there. Look at this, ain't this gorgeous? All right, you guys, so we just finished installing those little chrome inserts back into it. And I don't know about it, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I think it might take a second for me to get used to because I'm not used to this black in this area, especially since there's not much black on the truck. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. We'll see. Uh, give, give me, give me like a good little day to kind of comprehend it. It blends perfectly with with the rest of the grill, so that was perfect. That was a perfect match. But I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm definitely gonna do after shots tomorrow because it's obviously too dark right now. I'll let you be the judge. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait till tomorrow. Let's let these after shots roll in, and then yeah, we'll talk later.
All right, guys. So, what are your thoughts on this? I, I don't. I don't know how I feel. I really don't know. I'm trying to. I mean, even in light, like, like, I think I did very good, like matching the this plastic right here. But what are we thinking, huh? What? What are the thoughts on that? Isolating the GMC to make sure that pops out. And remember, like I said, the reason I went with that rubberized coating is if we don't like it, I can peel it right off. So that's the main reason I did that. So I'm just kind of painting like a matte black so that I'm kind of screwed. But I don't know. How do we feel? Does it look decent? Because mm, I'm, I'm going to be painting these to color match. So it'll everything will tie in. So this is just another piece, like I've always said before. I mean, it looks okay, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep it for now to see if it kind of, I don't know, grows on me. But, you know, it was it was a little simple, easy, you know, project to get done. I really feel like whenever I color match these, these things here, and I repaint these bumpers to really match, I think it'll really kind of tie back in. Not really sure. I think it's just going to throw me off because now we got three different colors. We got the actual white diamond, this weird, odd color. And then we got black and chrome and it's just it looks a little funky right now but we'll keep it for now just to see how we feel about it and i would totally give this thing a bath because look at that like that's disgusting y'all seen these before in their prime but every freaking time i want to wash my truck looks like this so we definitely ain't washing it today or actually let me say too um do we keep it the black or do we actually get the color matched color and do we color match these? So let me know your thoughts on that. So do I just peel that off and then color match it or peel it off and leave it chrome or keep the black? So hope you guys can help me out with this because I'm a little on the edge. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, again, as always, love the support and uh, the ones who do comment and everything on my videos. I really do appreciate it. Um, not really. You know, I don't have all the money in the world to do stuff to this truck, but I do what I can with what I got. And I like to stay DIY with things. So, yeah. As always, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Your choice. And uh, catch you in the next one.